In this chapter, we will study in detail the traditional categories of armed conflict that are envisaged by IHL. We will also look at new forms of hostilities that have been occurring over the last decades, such as transnational armed conflicts or hostilities involving terrorist groups or purely criminal organizations like criminal gangs or drug dealers. Indeed, we will see that these hostilities are sometimes difficult to reconcile with established legal categories. But before that, in order to facilitate your understanding of this course, let me briefly recall the general principles governing the classification of armed conflicts. And in the next two videos, examine the main consequences that arise from these principles and uncover the reasons behind them. The two most important categories of armed conflict are international armed conflict and non-international armed conflicts. We already mentioned this basic distinction previously. As you will recall, international armed conflicts involve the armed forces belonging to two or more sovereign states or international organizations. The term non-international armed conflict is used to describe hostilities of a certain intensity between the armed forces of a state or an international organization and an independent organized armed group or between two or more independent organized armed groups. Non-international armed conflicts are themselves subdivided into two categories low-intensity non-international armed conflict and high-intensity non-international armed conflicts. The category of low-intensity non-international armed conflicts describes conflicts between the armed forces of a state or an international organization and independent organized armed groups or between two or more armed groups. The concept of a low-intensity non-international armed conflict dictates the scope of application of Common Article 3 to the four Geneva Conventions. It must be emphasized at this stage that, since the adoption of Common Article 3, organized armed groups are considered to be full parties to armed conflicts, with their own obligations under international law irrespective of any formal recognition of belligerency by the opposing state or organization. The second additional protocol to the Geneva Conventions of 1977 introduces a new category of non-international armed conflict, high-intensity non-international armed conflict. Low and high-intensity non-international armed conflict differed in two manners. A first difference is that, in the latter category, the organized armed group must control a part of the territory of the state where the conflict is taking place. A second difference is that high-intensity non-international armed conflicts must be between the armed forces of a state and an independent organized armed group. Conflict between multiple armed groups are necessarily low intensity, even when one or more of the armed groups controls territory. A further important category governing the scope of application of IHL is occupation. Indeed, detailed special rules of IHL, mainly contained in the fourth Geneva Convention, apply to this category. We will also try to define as precisely as possible the concept of occupation. 